Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is that of the initial screen when you start the OneNote application. When you start OneNote for the first time, the program opens a sample notebook that is called Personal. In the future, when you start the application, the notebook that you worked on last will open instead. The OneNote storage structure resembles that of a tab notebook. The beauty of OneNote is that you can customize the organization based on your personal tastes and needs. For example, you might have one notebook for personal information and one for work. Or you may choose to have notebooks for each project you work on. Each notebook you create is divided into sections, and each section is then divided into pages. Once the application and notebook are open, you view information about the notebook in four areas of the OneNote application window. First, we have the Notebook drop-down navigation at the top of the program window, which displays buttons for the notebooks you create. You will use the drop-down to select a notebook to work on. In versions prior to 2013, notebooks were instead displayed in a collapsed notebook pane at the left side of the application interface. In versions 2013 and 2016, you can access and display the old navigation by clicking the Pin button in the Notebook drop-down button. This is also the same button to click to make the notebook pane disappear. The navigation bar is collapsed by default, only displaying a button for each notebook. You can easily switch between notebooks in the navigation bar by clicking on one of these buttons to display it. You can click the small downward pointing arrows to collapse and expand the contents of the notebooks. You can then click on any of these areas within the notebook to quickly jump to that section. The Content pane is the area in the center of the application window and displays the active notebook page. For pages you create, the page title appears in the title bar at the top of the program window and displays the name of the page. Just above the Content pane is the notebook header which displays tabs of the various sections of the active notebook. You can easily jump to different areas of the notebook by clicking on these tabs. The Page Tabs bar is located to the right of the Content pane and displays page tabs that you can click to easily move between different pages within the active section. OneNote displays a tab for each page within the current section by default. The other object we will examine is the ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, button groups, and commands available for use within the program. If you are familiar with the ribbon, one thing to note that is different from other Office applications is that the ribbon is collapsed by default in OneNote to provide more space for the notebook page. You simply click on a tab to display the ribbon. Selecting the File tab within the ribbon allows you to access the Backstage view shared by Microsoft Office products. In the Backstage view, you will find the most common file management commands, such as creating a new notebook, sharing notebooks, and printing. Above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. You'll notice several important buttons already set here, such as Back and Undo. The buttons that you've added to this toolbar are easily removed. We will examine how to use and customize the Quick Access Toolbar in an upcoming lesson. If you are upgrading from a version prior to 2013, one of the things you may notice is a clean, fresh look to the user interface. OneNote 2013 and 2016 provide support for touch-enabled devices so that you can use OneNote without the need for a keyboard. If you want to enlarge the space between buttons in the ribbon to make it easier to select options with your fingers, you can use the Touch or Mouse Mode button. Simply add the Touch or Mouse Mode button to the Quick Access Toolbar so that you can switch between modes easily. Click or tap the down arrow on the Quick Access Toolbar and then select the Touch Slash Mouse Mode command to add it to the toolbar. Then just click or tap on the Touch or Mouse Mode button on the Quick Access Toolbar and select the mode that you want. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.